Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second game of the third Will Cheese Bale Cold Cast Marathon. <sighs> Jeff, it's 2016. Yep. I feel Dude, old. They changed their. They changed the overlay. The overlay. That's what. That's why. That's why the the, the timer, timer's there. The timer's there. It's it, dude. Look. You know what? It's technical alpha. Yep. Starcraft is still in technical alpha. You gotta cut them some slack. All right. It's only been five years. They. You know, these things like Blizzard say. You know, always says, when it's ready, it'll be ready. <laughs> Mr. Max was black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of delicious apple juice. Mmm, apple juice. <laughs> Guys, I got the best apple juice ever. It's called Simply... What is it? Simply... Simply, simply Apple, I guess, because the other one's Simply Orange. So I'm guessing Simply Apple. Simply Apple? Guess. Oh my god. It's literally like someone took a, a, a barrel of apples and just stomped the juice out of them. And yeah. then you just drank it. Yeah. It's delicious. It's so fresh, you can taste the feet. Straight up. Starting down here in the bottom left position, we have... Buff, Biff, Luff. And up here in the top left position, we have Legacy. It of is, the Void. It is going to be a TVP. That, that is it. On the old school, what, what was this What was this old map again? Like from back in the day? It's, it's, somebody, somebody will say it in the chat. It's basically the old map, except that they put this little walkway here. A little walkway in the way? Yeah, some, somebody will say it now. Is it even rotated or anything, or is it literally just basically the same map except with the walkway? It's pretty much the same map. Incredible. Yeah. Ingenuity. No, it's not Steps of War. Scraps, no, no, no it's not Scrap, scrap station. station. Although it's similar to Scrap Station, except on its side. That's what I was, that was the map I was thinking of. Except rotated. That's nah. why I asked if it was rotated. No, I don't. Is it? Is it scrap station? Maybe it is scrap station. I'm thinking of. It's rotated. Okay. Yeah, because before it went up like from here and went up and around like the that. The only reason I know that is because it's from the era of StarCraft in which I still knew the map names. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, once again, guys, this is Will Cheese Fail, the second uh, game of the series here. The last one was a drone rush. It was pretty good. It was good, I guess. It, I, I, you know, it was. There was some micro involved. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But I've seen so many worker rushes now that I'm just, you know, two out of ten, bro. So it looks like our Protoss player here is going to be going up with an adept, trying to do a little bit of pressure. Got the mothership core just going back and forth. That's pretty standard, just patrolling, getting ready, and also when it's moving around like that, and you need it very quickly, and you don't have it hotkeyed you'll be able to see it right away. It's yeah. just kind of moving around in your base. You it, don't miss it. It gives your eyeballs something to lock on to when you're looking for it. And that's one of the crappy things about the Mothership Core in general is it just kind of blends with everything. If yeah. it was sitting right here, it would just, you'd be like, oh, and you're in, you're in panic. You don't know what you're doing. It's hard to find. Uh, looks like it's going to be an Oracle Harass. I'm not sure how I feel. I don't know if this is a will cheese fail or not. Oh, there is Fast Ghost Academy. I'm going to let it slide if it's a nuke. Oh, I'm definitely going to let it. It's definitely going to be a nuke. Okay. Let's go. I'm okay with this. He goes out at the worst possible time ever. Yeah. And now we've got three, four, five, Does he six. see the silo? Oh, he just wasted a, an EMP on that bad boy. Did he, he, was, did he spot? Well, he, like an he EMP, just got EMP. So now so. he knows. I would not have shown my ghost, and I would not have EMP'd. No. That Oracle was moving out regardless, and that was all he would have been able to do until he had enough energy to uh, to harass again. So that was a complete waste of energy. Yeah. Especially if he wants to uh, cloak anytime, but he's not even researching cloak. He's not even getting a nuke. Get that production tab up. Let's see yeah, what Yeah, let he's me doing. get that production tab up. So he's just building ghosts. Interesting. That's a show. Now, sure. now, my limited knowledge of Legacy of the Void is that ghosts have become good enough to the point where you can use them in infantry batches, and they're quite effective at, at taking out, uh, you know, light armored stuff or whatever. I, are they good against uh, the? Um... Well, ghosts, ghosts are good. The, the what I what I was dealing with for a while in this cheese that Terran was doing is it would proxy ghosts but they would get cloak and you're not prepared for it so they would just wreck your yeah. probe line or just wreck whatever yeah this guy isn't getting that he isn't getting cloak what the hell we've got a tempest on the way 
what kind of build is this, dude? He, one guy is rushing Tempest. The other guy. The other guy is rushing Ghost, and he's got his SCVs all right, so here. This is an all-in Ghost. A two Ghost all-in Marine. Is he gonna SCV EMP? Push. Oh, I was gonna say he's gonna EMP yeah. the Mothership Core. He emp Okay. It. The Oracle though is alive. Did a little bit of damage. The Tempest. Is, is there not where it needs to be well this tempest isn't going to be able to do a whole lot against all these marines of these oh god i think it's over that emp on the mothership core was so dope like yeah, that, that was pretty sick and he couldn't get that overcharge off right immediately yeah. focused down on the pylons the eratosis although he still does have some adepts behind he got off one warp cycle here all of these units are trapped. He was doing a good job at stutter stepping, but I don't think it's going to be enough at him. These two adepts in the back are going to tear a strip into Marines. Yes, the adepts got nerfed. It now takes three shots to kill a Marine opposed to two, but he did a lot of damage, and now a second Tempest is out, and this Terran is all the way all in. As long as he can keep the stuff alive, there's no point of even trying to micro a Tempest. He needs to just get the DPS out. He's going to be able to take out these Marines. Wow. He's on two Nexus. It's wow. pretty much over. You know what? Oh, as stupid as it sounds, this is one of the only things that could have stopped what just came into the Protoss base. Yep. <laughs> like, like, literally, one of the only things that could stop this, that, or to stop that push, that all-in, is Tempest. And he, lo and behold, had Tempest. I mean, the, the Terran did everything right. The wow. Terran came into the base, he got the EMPs off, he shut down the overcharges completely, he had all-in there, it was beautiful, and then he hit a Tempest, and mm -hmm. you've got to be thinking in his mind, he's going, well, shit. Because there's almost nothing that can be done there. Wow. I was concerned for a moment because he was playing the Tempest so close to the Marines uh -huh. that I thought he was just going to get stutter stepped into the ground. Me too. And if he lost that Tempest immediately, then the second one coming out would have meant nothing. Well, definitely what saved him there was pulling those probes and getting off that last warp cycle before that pylon went down. If that, if that warp cycle didn't get in, this game was over. But he managed to get out those adepts. They did a lot of damage, killing off most of the bio. And having the uh, the probes tank a lot of the DPS, and look at that, ghosts are now being countered by a tempest. <laughs> and there it is. Wow, so that... today everybody learns at home two things. One, there wasn't really any cheese in that game. If it was a nuke, I would have gone for it. It was it was an all in. It was an all in. It was and an all -in. I guess what makes it unique is the the tempest rush because he was rushing tempest, like well, he opened yeah. up. So I guess, Sleepy and I've seen people rush Tempest on this map before just because of how much space they have, you know, on the left side. They can sit back there and just destroy mm -hmm. lines. So, I mean, you could call it, I guess, see, the problem is with Legacy <laughs> of the Void is it's really difficult to differentiate cheese from not cheese anymore because everything happens so fast. It's true. So for the sake of, uh, uh, of everything, I'm still going to call both so of these things relatively cheesy. Yep. You rush Tempest. If it doesn't work, you're fucked. Do we just call this unorthodox will fail? When on when unorthodox builds fail. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. No, it doesn't. Tongue. No, it actually doesn't That's, at all. No, you might as well be like. I was when, struggling just to no. say it once. Yeah, exactly. You you just came up with it. And it was like <laughs> the first first shot. It was already ruined. So I don't think we can uh, go with that. No, I think I think though that we can definitely uh, since both of them had a weird build. I think I'll post this up as a as a as a solid game again. No, this is good because Legacy of the Void is so hard to differentiate. I mean, one guy rushed Ghost, one guy rushed Tempest, and pro tip, apparently, in case you were wondering, Tempest is the counter to Ghosts. Well, in, it is in definitely in PvP. A, yeah, well, it is here. I tell you that. <laughs> Shoutouts to our sponsors: Loot Crate, Corsair, and Yord Wood Watches. For those wondering, this month's Loot Crate, uh, and when I say this month's, I mean for April is quest so there's gonna be uh let me see here i'll tell you exactly what's in this crate if i One can click on this penis. oh there we go it is going to be uh uncharted 4 ah. lambreth uh vikings and harry potter Vikings, I hear, is actually a really good show. I uh, Gabs loves the shit out of Vikings, and I watched like three episodes with her the other night because we were recording when she was at home. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it obviously doesn't have the budget of like Game of Thrones no. because that has its own like universe of budget. Yeah. But dude, it's good. It's a good show. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to download you're gonna, that. You're gonna want to watch. I'm gonna have to download that. So there it is, yeah. guys. That's gonna be this month's uh, loot crate. You can use the promo code BOWS for 10 percent off. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. We will be back right after this with some more Will Cheese Fail.